Hello, Mr. Nicolas. Thank you for welcoming me. You're the director of the truck division of Sans Po. And we wanted to meet at the IAA in Hanover, but now we meet at your virtual expo. What changed? Actually, a lot of things have changed, but there is one thing that has not changed, is that we are still there to serve our customer. Mm -hmm. And it's true that to, due to the specific situation, we had to be more agile, more flexible, in order to continue to serve our customer the best way. What are the megatrends within this situation? There are three important megatrends. And the first one being cleaner trucks and zero emission trucks. Zero emission trucks is clearly the target, but this target is reachable in the range of 2030 in that area. Before that, we, we have to provide solutions to our customer to reach cleaner trucks, meaning less emission. This is the first megatrend. The second megatrend is autonomous trucks, mm -hmm. trucks that are driving by themselves. And for that, there is a need for steering and braking. And last but not least, there is more connection, more connected trucks, so more data uh, that are produced and exchanged between the actuator of the trucks and its environments. Could you start with explaining the concrete solutions you have? Absolutely. Uh, come, come with me. Uh, first, you will see some uh, product for our, our first business unit, engine and thermal management. In this business unit, our goal is to produce and deliver to our customer smart actuators in order to precisely control the airflow for the internal combustion engine. By precisely controlling the airflow in the combustion, we can improve its efficiency and thus lower the emission of the internal combustion engine. Mm -hmm. So this is our contribution to the final customer to reach lower emission for internal combustion engine. Mm -hmm. And it's not the only thing that we are doing. Um, we also have uh, some smart actuator for the thermal management. This is something that is getting more and more important in order to precisely control the temperature of the uh, water cooling system of the trucks. Water cooling system being very important for conventional trucks, but even more for electrical fuel cell trucks uh, due to the fact that the battery has to remain at a very precise temperature. So it needs very precise mm -hmm. water cooling. What leads into the future? In the future, when it starts to be already um, something real uh, today, we have some solution of motor for e-auxiliaries. Mm -hmm. In the architecture of an electrical truck, there will be some needs of electrification of applications that are today uh, belt driven by the internal, mm -hmm. internal combustion engine. And if this engine is not there, you still need to drive a pump for the steering of the truck. So looking at new trucks that are being electrified, hybrid, hybrid trucks or battery electrical trucks or even fuel cell trucks, they will not get this power from the international combustion engine, so they need a specific motor to drive these auxiliaries. That's what we call the e-auxiliaries. And we are producing some motors to reach that goal for electro-hydraulic power steering, as you can see here, or for electrical air compressor in order to produce the compressed air uh, for braking and suspension system. This is something on which we are starting to be very, really active and entering into production. Is there also a product which leads even more into future? Yeah, exactly. We've got uh, with this product that is currently under development, this product is a project on which we would like to provide a motor platform to our customer in order to cover all the needs of the e-auxiliary. So actually this motor is developed um, with our sister company, CPM located in Munich in order to provide to our customer a very compact motor achieving a power up to six kilowatts in order to cover the need for all the electro hydraulic power steering, all the electric power steering and air compressor and e-auxiliaries that um, we captured on the tracked market. So 
The goal of that is to provide really a motor platform to our customer in order to answer to these specific needs. And what's the main challenge for you? The main challenge for, for us will be to provide the right product, and we are working on that. We think that we captured uh, the right solution, uh, provide the right product at the right time to meet the expectation of our customer. Thank you very much. Thank you.